Uh, let's see. The next card I have is from Reverend Benny Johnson. Mayor Stoller, Vice Mayor Webb, City Board, I think it's sad and sorry that Bruce Moore has defamed my name. On last board meeting, if you go back and watch that meeting, I held up a piece of paper and said one of the chiefs has alleged not taking a drug test, but yet he sent a lie out about me saying that I talked about the chief. I asked y'all to go back and review it. But what caught my attention out of everything I talked about, that's the only thing he brought up. He did not bring up about the chief being in uniform. You see it right here, supporting this campaign, this millage, which is against departmental policy. One of our retired captains was suspended for this same thing. Yes, Bruce continued to protect this man. He did not speak about this four hundred some thousand dollar lawsuit that Ken Buckner received in Louisville, Kentucky, against a real whistleblower, a lawsuit that he lost in Louisville, Kentucky. That showed that he continued to protect this man. Now, Bruce, I'm not going to talk behind your back. You want to know why I gave this letter to the city board? Because I'm grown, for one thing. I don't answer nobody but the Lord. And, thing, and the thing about it, you had it on your, your, your desk for weeks, and you refused to move on it. These are some serious allegations. And I'm going to tell you, you went to another meeting and said again after Tom Carpenter Correct you, you said I've lied. I'm telling you, you're that far away from a defamation character lawsuit. I'm telling you that right now. Let's 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 not. But I, uh, he sent it. out a lie, and I do not appreciate it. Two things I don't like: lies and cheaters. And he, he lied on me. It's just point blank, and I'm going right. I'm going to deal with it. Now this 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 chief, we had come to you to the city board before. Y'all would not react on how he talked to black people. You refused to move on it. Now, he disrespected city, uh, uh, Director B.J. Wyrick one night here when she asked him about why police were moving south with Little Rock. He said he don't, he don't think he should be able to explain himself here. And she said, I think you are preaching to me and you're being combative with me. And I also think it's sad and sorry that Bruce Moore put out a statement about Brandon Reed when his little precious baby, two-year-old Ramai Reed was killed. They are already going through heartache and pain, and send, he, he sent this out too. And that, that's just sad and sorry. He put this man's family in danger. And in closing, I understand when our board meetings have problems with some of the police officers. We have some good police officers. Young man out there, he's always been respectful of me. Uh, Chief Bueller didn't speak to me because I don't care. I ain't looking for no friends when I came in. <laughs> But it's also a statement made that we need to quit being hugger cops. Well, we got good cops out there. Now, I know police are supposed to build a rapport with our community. We don't supposed to just always go out and arrest people. And where's Sergeant Willie Davis? Because I need somebody to go call Sergeant Willie Davis because I need a hug. <laughs> God bless you. Mayor Stodler. Yes. I, for the board's benefit, I, and I think I, I sent this, when the citizen communication occurred and the letter was handed out by Reverend Johnson, I wasn't given a copy, which is no problem. I just wasn't given a copy. I was taking notes. I wrongfully wrote down that it was Chief Buckner who had not taken the drug test and put it off. And I let the Mr. Moore know that because I thought that was a very serious issue that needed to come to his attention. Uh, after I had let him know that, I got a copy of the letter and found out that they were not talking about Mr. Buckner. I have apologized to Reverend Johnson uh, for my mistake, and uh, I'll do it here publicly. I, I misheard and I misreported, and uh, I know that the city manager was quite concerned because what I told him was a major, major infraction if the chief of police would not or refuse to take a drug test. And, and, and when I think I take the blame for that. All right. Thank you. Very good. I appreciate, uh, appreciate the clarification on the whole issue, Tom. Thank you.
Um, all right, I've got uh, 11 cards remaining all on the same topic, so we're going to keep it at two minutes apiece. Uh, Scott, if you will, please. And we'll get right into it. Uh, Janet Perkins, please. Let's let's have some let's have some order. Let's have some order, please. <laughs> 